my cat wanted to come in the room with me today <clears throat> while I do my little live stream here. But of course, now he has chosen to sit directly behind the phone. Very good, Chance. Very good. <laughs> okay, we're going with it. Good morning. Welcome to Breakout Studios Online Classes. This is Tap Basics. My name is Jez. I'll be taking you through class today. We're going to have a grand old time. So we'll get going here in a minute. Yay. Oh, you'll hear me. I've got myself on my monitor up here too so I can see. Yay, this is a basics intro level class. So if that feels like what you're looking for today, you're in the right place. I'm gonna actually move you all the way down now. No cat interruption should happen there. Oh, other than him wiggling the whole structure that you sit it on. Yeah, there we go. How's that looking? Welcome. If you're new here, um, if you're logged into your Google account, we do have a little chat, a live chat while class is going. So if you have questions for me, feel free to ask. Of course, I will do my best to check them and answer you. Otherwise, just follow along. I'm going to be facing away from you so you can just follow along with my feet. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's get warmed up, shall we? Let's have some fun. <laughs> here we go. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Great. All right, shake it out. Nice and easy to start with just rolling those ankles. Other side. Good. All right, here we go. Starting with the toes to warm us up. up usually I've been doing um, where I face away uh, towards the wall but I feel like something about the corner it sounds better acoustically maybe not you let me know 
All right, you like the other one better. <laughs> I'll change it back. Okay, let's go into a little shuffle combination. Let's call everything little is also what I've noticed since I've been doing these live streams. It's a little warm up, a little shuffle. You know what? We're doing it big still. <laughs> it's still a big thing. It still matters. All right, we're going to do, let's start to the front. We're going to take two slow, one and two, and, and then we're going to do four quick, a one, a two, a three, a four. So changing that accent, the step is going to be the same the whole time. First things first, if you've been here before, you know, shake that ankle out, release that leg, make sure your standing leg isn't locked as well. We don't need it. Upper body, keep it relaxed. You can stand nice and tall, but relax those arms. Yeah, I'm about that relaxed arm life where we don't let, um, hello chance, we don't let those arms uh, get too stiff. Yeah, keep them nice and relaxed. And it's gonna help because uh, all things will be relaxed. You don't wanna hold any tension in your body. So, two, one, two, three, four. Yes, I'll do that again. I'll face the side real quick. Give two, pick it up. Now notice, this is all just my leg doing the work here. That foot is relaxed. When I come back, you can almost see it like reverb, right? It's like, oh, it feels so good. Yeah, aiming for that toe tap. So we're gonna do that to the front, to the side, to the back and then to uh, change to the side the second time. Just three, and then we'll step down, yeah? So again, I'll do that on the left, two slow, three, two slow, oh, and four, back, four, three, two, one, then one more time. Three, two, one, ten. Yeah, we'll repeat that twice, sounds of chaos that would just be my needy animal who decided he had to be in here today in order to disrupt my peace oh okay yeah he was trying to get into a bag that he does not fit in so you know as we do as you do chance let's see let's go here ba -ba -ba -ba. Music volume's good, y'all. Nice and slow. You ready? Here we go. Let's start to the front. One, two, three, and shove it. He falls asleep in a corner. Today he has decided uh, to choose chaos, I suppose. So here we are, letting it happen. Um, just, just accepting 
the sound of my cat trying to enter all the boxes that are in this room, you know, as you do when somebody asks you to be quiet. Okay, yeah, that's a great little exercise to practice slow, of course, like we just did, right? We were talking about that control and that ankle, but also, if you want, you can pick up another song and double time it, right? If you want to work on some speed, some control, right? We could go one, two, one, two, three, four, right? We hear how the counting changes, we hear how the, <clears throat> the accent changes. We have one, two, right? One, and two, and a one, a two, a three, a four. Yeah, we, we change the placement of that uh or that and. <laughs> and it gives us a different sound. Oh my goodness. Really, we are really going for it over there. This is Indiana Jones. But this is not a small cat, as I'm sure you saw walk by. So he doesn't, oh, he's set. He's chosen to sit in the chair now. Okay, let's take advantage of the quiet. Okay, we're gonna do a little cramp roll exercise. We did cramp rolls briefly in the warm up, so we're gonna come back to that. Shake off those shuffles. <sighs> yes. Of course, I forgot to say before we did the cramp rolls, but if you've been here before, you probably heard me say this a million times. Oh, if you ever need to do any of these exercises holding on to something, like a bar or a counter or a chair if you're dancing at home, whatever you got, because you've got some compromised balance, that's cool. Go for it, right? Of course, still try to use those stabilizing muscles, but if balance is that much of an issue that you feel like it's taking you out of the game, making you play weird things, use something to hold on to. It's better for your, you know, muscle memory for training correctly. So, same thing goes with this little cramp roll combination. We're gonna do four cramp rolls in a row. Right, left, right, left. Here we go. One. Again. Two. Two more. Last one, four. Right, we feel that weight shift happening. Even without music on, I've got this little groove going. So it's crispy. Yes, we do four of those. Then things are going to get exciting. We're going to cross one. Now this is still right, left. Right, left again. Back and open. So we did four regular cramp rolls, right? Right underneath ourselves. And then we're gonna cross. That pattern goes front, side, aka open, back, sides. Yeah? Still just a nice, crispy, clean cramp roll there. Bend your knees. Uh, it won't be too crazy fast. Yeah, so again, we have one. right there get chance sightings it's like a wild animal running around oh no he really wants to sit in this thing of course that I'm balancing my phone on come over here instead <laughs> of course his mask makes it wiggle so otherwise if he was a normal sized cat it would be cool but because he is a large boy we are trying to crisis manage this whole time yeah so we'll do this a couple different speeds right we'll do that nice even And four, right? If that's your jam and you want to just practice this, right? This is also just working on making sure we're centered and we have our balance. And we're keeping those sounds even, right? Nice and clean. If that's where you want to work from, beautiful. I love it. I'll do it with you a few times. Then we're going to double time this. So we're going to change these into eighth notes, right? We just did our little like quarter note version. We're gonna go in eighth notes. One and two and three and four and yeah. Then we cross, cross and go. Open, back, and chance. <laughs> Usually he's very soothed by tap dance. I feel like today he's had his cup of coffee and he's turning up before me. Yeah? So, uh, keep it nice and crispy and clean. Again, if you're doing the fast version with me as well, of course, you can stick with the previous version if that works best for you today. But if you want to double time it, keep it 
light, right? When we're dropping those heels down, that's a good thing to think about. Don't oh, rock all your weight back there, right? It's light. It's the faster I go. <laughs> At least he chooses to walk behind me and not in front of the camera. Oh, there you go. He settled on the chair. Yeah? We hear how nice and light that is. I'm not thinking down, 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 down. I'm thinking lifting up, right? Because the faster we go, uh, the less time I have to shift my weight and get places. So it's like if you were running away from something. I always use this example with my students. If I was running away from something, I wouldn't like stick my foot down and be like, oh no, why am I not running fast, right? We run fast and we get on those toes and we skitter away. So, you know, use some of that skitter energy. <laughs> All right. Go, go. Let's, let's get into some cramp rolls. Hopefully that made sense. Otherwise, it's just kind of funny to watch my ankles do that, I guess. So, hope you enjoyed it. All right. Oh, no. Chance got back up. So, if he comes through again, I don't apologize because he's so cute. <laughs> Check it out. Bend those knees. Relax your upper body. It's all part of it, right? It's all part of the dance. <sighs> Here we go. We're going to start... With that nice and slow, even quarter notes. One, two, three, four. Good, more. Now we cross it. Right, left. Right, left, cross it back. One more time, open. Good, let's do that one more time on the right. Of course, you can even double it with the same song. 
practice doing that, right? Make sure when you're playing it um, with any song, right, you can hear your slow version, right? This bass level, we could have even gone slower with this song, but this is where we chose to start. But even when I pick it up, everything's still getting the same amount of time, right? It's even. Right, we hear it, it's still, it's still playing in the same tempo. So we gotta be aware of that. That's the whole key we're practicing here. Making sure, even if we're, you know, putting his feet all over the place, right? This is also good practice for like a turn. If we did a rhythm turn or something like that, you know, all good practice. We want to make sure it's still even and we're not losing and things get smushy when we're moving our feet around because we're getting a little confused. Yeah, you got this. Cool. Let's move forward. We're doing great. Cool. All right. Shake. As always, I like to shake off every exercise before we move into the next thing. Make sure we're still staying relaxed. Sometimes the point where we tense up is just the in-between point, right? <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's see. I wanted to do... <laughs> I think I originally wanted to do paddle rolls, but I think I'm going to change that up. I think I'm going to throw something else fun in here since we're kind of breaking away from our normal uh, drills anyways. Let's do a little falaf exercise. While we're talking about making things even and speed and whatnot, Let's talk about full laps. Let's give you a little combo for these. So, a full lap, similar to a shuffle like we did earlier. However, we're gonna put weight on that foot, right? Even if I don't travel, right? I, I used to always say a full lap travels, but sometimes a flap doesn't travel. Sometimes we just put it down and we have to pick it back up. But there does have to be a moment where we put some weight on that foot, we stick it down. Otherwise, that's a shuffle, right? We can recognize that. We see that. So, we're gonna start with. A one, two, a three, four, a one, two, three, four. <laughs> That's the, the little two we're playing here. Falap, heel. So I'm going to falap that right foot. Falap, drop that heel, heel. Yes, that's where my weight shifts. We see that? I stuck this foot down. I drop that heel, left foot's ready to go. Let's repeat that on the other side. Yeah, good job. Do it again. One, two, I'll face you. And a one. Time one, two, three, and over two, three, four. From here, we're gonna make this full lap, heel, heel, full lap, heel, heel. Full lap. Now my opposite heel is gonna drop first. This goes left, right. Then I'm gonna do that on the left, right, left. Right. We have to do that opposite heel first, so that I can get my way over to the right place. Right. That's the end goal. So even if you're not the type of person that's good at saying right, left, left, right. I get confused too, especially when I just mirrored it like that. But I can think, where's my end goal, right? Oh, I need to get on this side. So if I do this, this is gonna, you know, this is gonna feel wrong. If I'm trying to get over here, I gotta pick up that other foot. Yeah? So a one, two, a three, four, a one, and two, a three, and four. Yeah? From here, I'm gonna just go into regular flat, just for four. One, two, Four. This is great practice. If you're practicing at home and you're working in a small space that you don't have a lot of room to travel around your room, if you do, that's great too, but it's also great to practice these just right underneath you because, right, there's this like jogging in place almost thing. It's like a Stairmaster. That's what I feel like I'm doing because I'm lifting that knee and extending my leg down and that's where I'm getting this nice clean snap for that second sound of my full out. You hear that? Yeah, because it comes back a little bit. And if I'm traveling quickly with my flaps, eventually, not necessarily right now, they have to be small. So this is good training, so we're not always practicing a flap that's like way out here somewhere. I wish I could tap on this floor, but I think I would slip and perish. So that's why I tap on my little dot to dance here. Uh, anywho, so we just did double heels. I've got those four flaps in place. One, then two full lap all changes. One, two, three, four. Nice and easy, right? If we were doing this across the floor, it'd be super fun to travel if you can in your house or wherever you are. If you're dancing outside, you got all the room in the world, you're doing this soft shoe, 
Oh, he's about to, he's about to water slide. Oh, man. I wish you all could see what I see right now, but I don't want to show you the mess that is all of my moving situation. But this cat, this cat really, he's a, he's a disaster artist. Uh, anywho, let's go through this whole thing from the top. Two full lap heels, two full lap double heels. Four full laps, regular two full lap ball changes. So, one, change, keep those heels up just for cleanliness sake. Of course, not required always in life. If somebody tells you to put your heels down, you can. Just make sure it's clean, right? For now, just keep those heels up. Just because we're also practicing finding um, our balance a little bit today. It's kind of a theme, right? Getting our core centered and we don't want to necessarily be on this like highest releve we can, right? It's just enough where I can stabilize myself and bend my knees a little bit. A little four starch moment. Cool? Yeah, so a one, two, a three, four, a one, and two, a three, and four, a one, two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four. I find for lap ball changes usually the one that gets a little sloppier when I'm teaching people. I don't know what it is about flat ball changes. We try to speed it up, it gets a little crazy. Oh my gosh. This box that he has is going to be confiscated. <laughs> Can you stop, please? Being a DJ over here in the corner, you don't fit in that box, bro. I hate to break it to you. That's his plan, by the way. I know you can't see what's happening, but he's found a box that he is too big for. And not even like, like it's a little box, like it's a box that's like this tall. So he definitely can't get in there, but he is trying. Now he's giving up for now. Hopefully for the rest of class. Yeah, let's let's try this. And we'll do the same thing we kind of did with our cramp rolls, where we do a couple different speeds just to feel it out and understand the difference um, in what it looks like when we speed up and slow down, right? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, Chance, you're sitting down. You, you feeling tired? All that climbing got you down? <laughs> yeah, okay, so let's talk about our accents real quick while the song's getting started. You have a one, Two, a uh, three, four, a uh, lap, heel, heel, a uh, lap, heel, heel, a uh, one, a uh, two, a uh, three, a uh, four, a uh, one, and two, a uh, three, and four. Right? We have to hear how this is going to change. Let me turn this up a little bit. Yeah. Right? We hear that little tick. That's going to help us. Here we go. Let's try it. One, two, three. today. You know me. I love my lo-fi tap dance playlist. It feels right. Kind of jazzy in its new way. <laughs> here we go. Ba -da -ba. Oops, forgot I have to turn it up on here. Ooh. A little more rock and roll, baby. Here we go. You ready? So, let's find this countdown.
job. Just take those repeated flex. Right? We hear what's happening? Keep it relaxed. We don't want to hear this. That means we're tense. We're throwing that flex. Keep it even. Here we go. Left side. Ready? Nicely. And also not making any like 
like slurp extra noises. <laughs> Sometimes we can, but not in this case. Yeah, one more time from the top. I think we're doing pretty much close to speed here, if I recall correctly. One, two, three, four, left. All right. One, two, heels. Four, four, left. Nice. From here, we're going to play some cramples. Now, we're going to roll these like we didn't before. Earlier, we were doing them very... Yes, they were even. One, two, three, four. From here, I'm going to play one and a two, three, four, right? They're still even, you know, arguably, of course, but it's a little quicker and it's playing a, a, a little funkier sound here. So we did three, four. My left foot's going to be free. I go left, right, left, right. Yeah. One and a two. Do it again. Three and. Right? It's nice and light. Boom. Boom. I have one and a two. Yes, okay, this little step is fun. I need to remember it. We have one and a two. My left foot's three. Free. Three. It is three. Um, we're going to do this little chug. Three. Four. So, actually, don't pick that foot up. Sorry. Three. Four. It's kind of like if you've ever learned the shim sham, uh, there's this little step that happens. And it's like that, but it's, it's not quite that. We're just going to do a chug. So, what's a chug? I want you to imagine you're sliding your foot into a house slipper, right? If you just stick your toes in it and then you just slid your foot forward, that's what a chug is. Yeah, so I'm going to chug on that left foot. Chug, I'm going to drop my right heel just lightly. It's not like I'm playing a really loud heel. Yeah, to switch to the other side. So this is after one and a two. Hold three. Oh, right? There's a little breath. Yeah, ba 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 boom, shoo, ga da. Yeah, I'm trying to snap, but sometimes, you know when you just don't snap loud one day? What is that about? <laughs> That's what's happening. Then I'm going to repeat this on the right. Hey. Ah. Yeah, sorry, I did like a little extra chug there, which also, you know, that's forgivable. It kind of feels nice. So this was after. One, two, three, left side goes. One and a two, three, four. One and a two, three, four. Yeah! I love that. It feels very like ah, gentle, like I'm like kind of waltzing around. It's not a waltz we're playing, but it feels like I'm about to start waltzing. Okay, let's go from the top. One, two, then we'll try with the music. Three, four. Oh, one, two, three. Two heels. Four collapse. Just one collapse off change. Two steps. Here we go. A one and a two, three, four. One and a two, three, four. Yeah, I'm kind of like dragging that other foot in before I start the cramp roll step on the other side. But you can do what you please with that, yeah? If you want to drag. That's cute. If you don't want to drag, you can do a little and like just pick that foot up. You know what I mean? Whatever's best. Probably alternate between both of those pretty frequently, honestly. Pretty, pretty. Here we go. <laughs>
the little cramp roll. Should be left foot free, I believe. We step one, two, three, four. Oh, uh, one, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four. Oh, maybe it is the other foot because now I'm on the wrong foot. Where did I hit my toe? I think that's what it is. Yes, that's right. One, two, three. That was my ball. One, uh, two, uh, three, uh, four. Hit that toe back. Give me a little toe knock. Light and easy. Nothing crazy there, right? Yeah, okay. Let's back it up a little bit. Let's talk about what just happened. Yes. Lift. Lift. Oh, one, two, three, four. Right? We hear how we start swinging that. It's up, up, and up, and up, and up. Yeah. Cool. Let's do this again from the top without the music really quick. And let's just count through it and talk about it. One, two, three, four, lap heel. Oh, one. Two, right? It's like cascading down. It feels good. Then when you're right. That's where we're going to stop today. So this is just a fun little combo to practice. Of course, you can always take these um, and put them to any song, right? This is a very, like, bass level beat that we're going with here to set our tempo, but you can speed it up, you can slow it down, whatever feels best for you. Let's try this whole thing from the top with the music uh, a couple times. Yeah, I'll do it facing away first so you can follow behind me and then sometimes I'll face you just for other little details. I just realized this was supposed to be playing out of my speaker this entire time. I don't think it did at all, and that's fine. <laughs> Turn my speaker off. Here we go, one. Good work. All right, we 
to. Rewind. How y'all feeling? Hopefully pretty good. We got some good work in there today. Lots of things to think about. Let's take it nice and easy. Roll it out. Oh yeah, keep all your weight on the standing leg here. Other side, roll it out. Hopefully this light isn't pointing out all my random cat scratches. If you're a cat owner, you know. Sometimes they jump on your lap. They don't mean to do it, but <laughs> they get you. Good, bend that front knee, extend the back leg again, check in with those calves. Good, let's slide that back foot in a little bit, bend both knees, go straight down between them. Deeper little stretch for our calf and Achilles here. Nice, other side, extend it back. Oh, that's my side today, I feel this one. Imbalances are always something to check for, of course, if one side is feeling a certain way. Oh no, the song's ending. I'll pause so it doesn't start playing something right now. Nice and easy. Slide that back foot in, bend both. Yes. I hope you were all prepared to have a great week. <laughs> if you're with me live or you're watching this later, whenever, in time, it's always good to have a great week. Shake it out. Let's take a quick little hamstring stretch. Flex that foot, drive that heel down, bend your knee on the opposite leg and put your weight on that bent knee so we're not pushing on a straight leg. That's not necessarily super good for us. You can also, while you're here, hold on to something if you have like a chair in front of you. We are trying to keep our spine long. I know you can't see my spine, but it looks like this and not like this, <laughs> right? We don't want to hunch over that leg. Good. Oh yeah. Drop that toe. Let's see the other side. Send that heel forward, hips back. Oh yeah. Yeah, it is my right side. It is living today. Oh yeah, I got some cat scratches on this side for sure. And also just the, the phenomenon that is my entire body being the palest pale. Good, <laughs> the entire thing. Release over those legs real quick for me. Just bend your knees, relax your torso on the upper legs. Again, you can do this holding onto something too. If you wanna extend and lengthen through for a little deeper hamstring stretch, that's great to rock it back and forth a little bit. Now we're gonna plie and roll up, stack your spine slowly, <gasps> and we did it. Shake it out. Give me a little shave of the haircut. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm gonna try to bring this back up to my face. Ooh, ooh, look at those bangs. I got those morning bangs that are crazy. Hope you guys had fun in class today. Again, my name is Jez. This is Breakout Studios Online. If you enjoyed class, make sure you like and subscribe. Down there in the description, there's a way to donate for class as well. Um, yeah, thanks for the support. We appreciate you. Hope you have a great rest of your week. Life moves, move with it. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.